And what a celebratory Friday. Brazos Nights, it's back. Tonight, the city of Waco celebrated night one of the grand reopening of the Waco Suspension Bridge. The historic bridge is the oldest suspension bridge in the Lone Star State. To celebrate such a treasure, it was an evening full of live music and food trucks all along the riverfront. And as 6 News reporter Nicole Sheeran has been out there all day, she's joining us now from Waco to give us a front row seat. Okay, Nicole, I'm jealous of your assignment. What? Chris, first of all, all I have to say is this may be embarrassing, but I've never heard of the band Asleep at the Wheel before. They're performing right behind me, and they are pretty dang good. But today was a day full of fun and celebration for a grand reopening full of suspense. A night of music, family, friends, and celebration. All for the grand reopening of the Waco Suspension Bridge. Obviously, the suspension bridge in this whole area has really been missed. It's really the core and the heart of a lot of community events and gatherings that we have. Two years in the making, and tonight, people set up their lawn chairs, enjoy delicious food, and witness the moment they've all been waiting for. Well, I'm excited about it because we do come down to a lot of the concerts and the different festivals that they have. In so I always enjoy coming down here because it's such a beautiful setting. And now that the bridge is open, and I think that'll draw a lot more people to Waco also. This bridge is a state historical landmark and a true Waco treasure. But it really does bridge our city together and has since it was built in 1870. Just a lot of history pack in and it's really become the icon of our city to where the arches of the bridge and the cables, it's synonymous with Waco and bridging our community together is what we're all about. For many, this bridge has seen wedding photos, proposals, or locals taking in the outdoors. I think it's a, a anchor for Waco to have this bridge. A lot of people come to downtown area, and this is one area where you can walk along the river and enjoy the scenery, walk down to Cameron Park area. It's just a really relaxing area. This historic landmark now bridges the gap between downtown Waco and East Waco. Uh, for years, we've been hoping that East Waco would get a little more connected to this side, and um, I'm hoping that even in the future, there's more up and down the river that, that continues to connect the two. Waco is an ever-evolving city that keeps on growing, full of people proud to call it home. There's a lot to do. People just need to get out and explore it because there is so much diversity in Waco. We love Waco. We love Waco. <laughs> We really do. I grew up here and, and I've moved away, but I joke all the time that every road leads back to Waco. About two hours ago, 150 drones lit up the night sky over the Brazos River. It was absolutely stunning and stunning to watch. Now, all I have to say is Waco knows how to throw a party. And if you missed tonight, don't worry. We've got plenty more tomorrow, starting with a ribbon cutting at 11 a.m., followed by a cattle drive across the suspension bridge. And if you like Longhorns and you're a Texas fan, I think that one has got your name written all over it. But for now, I got to get back to grooming to the band that I apparently just learned about tonight. So for now, in Waco, I'm Nicole Sheeran, and I'll send it back to you in the studio, Chris. Okay, Nicole, you'll be happy to know that in high school, I started a band called I Sleep in the Bed. Uh, they were a big hit. <laughs> we saw logs every night. <laughs> enjoy the music. Have a good time out there. Okay, again, the ribbon cutting ceremony <laughs> is tomorrow. So get on out there and enjoy. There she goes. A couple California kids talking to each other. What are you going to do?